Hi, Gemini. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Gemini. This reading covers love, money, relationships, hobbies, activities. Really, the cards tell the story so we can get a sense of the energies and messages so that you can plan for the month. If you find this reading helpful, then subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my free daily, weekly, or monthly tarot videos. Okay, let's get started with your reading, Gemini, and your Celtic cross. <clears throat> what is going on for Gemini in November? So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. We have the Five of Cups, and we have the Six of Cups. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, Aces in their upright position are about gifts and blessings and opportunities from the universe, kind of like a divine message right to you. And the message with the wands in the upright position is about manifesting, it's about creating, it's about taking whatever inspiration or enthusiasms or passions that you have and bring them to life, get started on these projects. Um, uh, build them, uh, plan for them, you know, just go for it, really. In reverse, this suggests some, some block, something holding you back from getting started. Maybe it's a lack of faith in your decision or your, your wavering on whether you want to do it. Often I think of the Ace of Wands in reverse as, type, as a type of writer's block where you want to be creative and you want to do things, but for whatever reason, it's just not coming through. And maybe it's just a matter of biorhythms or the day or whatever it may be, but hang in there and trust your intuition and trust your plan and um, don't let how you're feeling affect your ability to be creative and to move forward. And, you know, as you can see, in the middle card here. It's the Five of Cups and this person is standing looking down. Often this is a card that uh, tells us of regret. There's something that we have been thinking about that we either regret or we feel a sense of loss over. Maybe it's a relationship that didn't work out the way you hoped. Maybe it's how you feel about someone and that they're not, um, they weren't what you thought they were, and so there's a sense of disappointment. Many people say this is the card of, of spilled milk, and that you're so focused and obsessed with what is gone, or what has spilled out, that you, you miss the opportunities here of the cups behind, the full cups behind. And all, you know, and if you look at the Ace of Wands, it's about opportunities too. So in in reverse, it's maybe missing an opportunity or just not having the wherewithal or the uh, organization or desire to to start moving it along and to put it in play. So with this card, it's important to uh, to acknowledge the sense of loss or the, the regret that you feel. But at the same time, if you live in this place and you're stuck here every day, you're never going to move forward. You're never going to get out of this, um, you know, gee, I shouldn't have done things this way. Maybe our relationship would have lasted longer, or I wish I hadn't said this, or I wish I wasn't so harsh. Um, you just have to say, yeah, I've learned from this, got to move on have to move forward on, on my spiritual path, on my spiritual journey. And so with the Six of Cups, we see the older child giving the younger child a cup with a flower. And this card goes to nostalgia, but equally as important is it goes to joy and that carefree innocence that when you're giving and then it's the joy of receiving and so there's this gentleness and kindness and happiness. It's the happiness that people bring to each other of how, how they make your life better. 
And so it's that equality of joy there within this card. And so for the times that we have that are challenging or tough, we often go down nostalgia lane to make us feel good, to make us feel happier, to feel comfort. It's kind of like putting on your broken in shoes, your favorite shoes that you really don't wear that often because they're really worn out, but you, can't, you don't have the heart to, to repurpose them or to donate them. Uh, or having a familiar meal that maybe reminds you of your grandmother or your family. It's this sense of nostalgia is a way to help us cope. And it's a way to help us cope with when things don't quite work out the way that we want them to and we feel loss or we feel regret maybe we feel shame in perhaps our actions you know whatever it may be it's it's focusing on what has happened on a and being unable to move forward this card uh again it's it's wonderful to be able to go back down memory lane to look through a photo album and to remember and to have fun but if you're always living in the past then you're never going to be landing in the present. You're never going to be moving forward again on a spiritual journey, your spiritual awareness, your desire and your hope to be the best person that you can be and to do the things that bring joy to your life. Um, but with this card, I would also say gentleness and kindness and joy. You deserve to have joy. You deserve to have happiness. And if you, in order to step out of this place, if you need to go down memory lane, go down memory lane. Just don't um, turn off the car and stay there. You know, make sure the car is still running. I don't know if that's a good analogy, but you know. Um, let's see. So it's an interesting, it's a pretty heavy and deep reading for Saturday the 11th. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have one and five is six, and six and six is 12, and 12 reduces to one plus two equals three. Three is about group activities. Three is about creativity and communication and how you express yourself. So I hope that you have a great Saturday, and now I'm going to move these, and I'm going to get my Oracle deck, so I'm going to be pulling a card from the Keepers of the Light. I like this deck. I like the simple messages. Again, I'm you know I don't want to have to read a ton of stuff, and that's <laughs> just me. I just like give me give me the focus for the day. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Whoa. Let's turn it around. Cloak of Wisdom. You already knew the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Very true and very good advice, and particularly for in times when you're feeling this block here. Put this, this blocking energy or this inability to receive or to listen to your, your third eye. So open up the channels and trust what you know and allow it to come in and trust that uh, you probably have this sense that of what's going on in your life when this is happening, but it's hard to get out of it. So again, allow yourself the moment to acknowledge the loss or the disappointment or the regret you may be feeling and, and then try to move forward. And with the Six of Cups too, you already know the answer that you seek, which is that you deserve joy and deserve love, and that you have your wisdom that is true, uh, that is your truth. I think that's how I would say it, is that um, your wisdom is your truth and your beliefs and your hopes. So I hope that you found something helpful today with this reading. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, or comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to stay connected and to show support. And I love our community, so please join it and chip in and interact. 
And uh, I hope I see you tomorrow for another daily reading. And I just want to say I have a dear friend born on 1111, which is a very lucky number. It's a number of service. And she's an amazing uh, cup reader, coffee, cu coffee grounds reader that she learned from her uh, mother, grandmother, and, and her legacy of women in her family and also follows the spirituality sense. And so, you know, I hope one day I can persuade her into doing a reading on a video for me. Um, I just think it would be really informative and fun to do. So I wish you the best and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.